Hello! In this video we will introduce you to the main MeteorCalc streetlight features. Let's look at the simplistic example of the road lighting project where the street lighting model is located directly in the street lighting project file. The lighting calculations should be performed and the distances between poles must be defined. Cable tracks on the street lighting plan have already been defined and drawn as in the present example. We use multi-insert command to insert multiple blocks of street lighting units and dimensions. This command also draws polylines to simulate cable spans between poles. We select the block to insert and enter the distance between poles for the main road. Similar actions are performed for the secondary road. Now all the blocks are in place, the dimensions between blocks are made and the polylines between poles are drawn. It looks like the street lighting model after the preliminary arrangement of blocks. MeterCalc has the insert block command to quickly insert any single program block. With help of this command we can insert street lighting blocks, blocks of scheme and other special blocks. Using this command the blocks will always be inserted on the correct layers. A distribution panel board and a transformer are modeled by special blocks. We recommend using draw model line command for quick drawing of polylines simulating cable spans of street lighting network. Let's use this command to simulate the power supply cable from a substation and to draw some cable sections in the feeder. Now the model of the street lighting network is ready for data assignment. We use the object data command to view and assign data of a single object. Let's assign data to the transformer. Now let's assign data to the power supply cable. Increase the length of the cable for installation in substation environments. And let's assign data to the distribution panel board. We use feeder objects data command to assign data for several objects in a feeder. Now we define the type of street lighting units to the main line of the feeder. And to the branch lines of the feeder. Next we assign the type of cable for cable sections to the main line and to the branch lines of the feeder. Now the data is assigned to all the elements of the feeder separately for branch lines and the main line in the feeder. Next we need to renumber street lighting units in the feeder and evenly distribute them by phases. To do this use the feeder numbering command. Let's set the number to the feeder. The automatic numbering mode and the automatic distribution mode should be selected in the dialog window. MeterCalc first numbers all items in the main line and then items in the branch lines. When all the data is assigned and numbering in the feeder is made, we can begin the calculations. First we do the calculation at the endpoints of the feeder. In the dialog window we can change the basic parameters of the calculation and select the result output mode. By default the calculation results of short circuit currents and voltage losses at the selected endpoint are outputted in a special block. We perform these calculations for all remote endpoints in the feeder. The next type of calculation is a calculation of feeder power sum and load currents in the feeder. The calculation of load currents is performed separately for each phase and for the neutral conductor. The calculation results are outputted in a special block. Then 
we perform the calculations of short circuit currents on the main bus of the distribution panel board. The calculations for the maximum and minimum short circuit currents are carried out separately. The calculations of power sum at the distribution panel board and voltage losses in the power supply cable from a substation are also performed separately. The results of all calculations are outputted to the common result block. Before drawing the scheme, we need to arrange the earthing devices in the feeder. The earthing devices at the endpoints of the feeder are set automatically. Let's add more intermediate earthing devices using the objects data command. If the earthing device is assigned to the item, the special designation will appear in its data on the plan. Now we are ready for drawing electrical single line scheme of the feeder. We begin drawing a scheme with the main line. The calculations of short circuit currents and voltage losses are performed at the selected endpoint while drawing the diagrams. We can set the direction of the scheme and other scheme parameters in the dialog window. We draw the scheme of branch lines analogically. Meter calc automatically determines the point of branching. The user only has to specify a point at the top or the bottom of the block for drawing branches. Fault currents are computed at the endpoints and operating currents in feeders allow to choose and check a protective device in the feeder. Now we proceed to the calculations of the equipment specifications. Meteor calc allows to obtain the separate specifications of street lighting units, street lighting poles, pole foundations, luminaires, cables and earthing devices. All specifications can be drawn in a tabular form in the DWG file or exported to an external spreadsheet. Specifications can be calculated separately for each feeder, separately for each distribution panel board or for the project file, as shown in the present example. Meteor calc allows to obtain the detailed description of the street lighting units, which are used in the current drawing. These descriptions are useful for further equipment orders. Now we will demonstrate obtaining the street lighting unit's explication. The command collects all street lighting units connected to the selected distribution panel board. Meter calc allows obtain the separate explication of street lighting units, street lighting poles, pole foundations, luminaires, cables and earthing devices. In the final step of work with the model of street lighting network, we will arrange the cable markers. A cable marker shows the cable type, the length of a cable route and the total length of the cable with reserve set by the user. When you change cable type, the marker is automatically updated. Thus, we have completed all the steps in the design of street lighting networks. It remains to complete the design of the project in paper space. To do this, we switch to model space and freeze in the active viewport the program model layer and the layer with the calculation results. Then we proceed to the finished design of the plan scheme of street lighting installation. To do this, we switch to model space and freeze in the active viewport all layers except the program's layers. You can also leave visible the contours of the road. For better readability of the plan scheme, cables of street lighting feeders can be painted in different colors. The explications of street lighting units was previously copied from model space. At the last step, we make out the single lines diagrams of feeders and information tables. This can be done 
either by using the individual viewports or by copying all the tables to the paper space. Thus, in about 10 minutes, we implemented all the basic steps and the most time-consuming stages in the design of street lighting installation. Changing the project is no longer a problem for the user. Thank you for watching and have a good work with MeteorCalc.